Oh, I just got a hit right away. Yes! <laughs> Let's go! Today I'm gonna go to Cultus Lake. Uh, Mark invited me out on a boat, uh, targeting small bass. Cloudy and windy, of course, that one day that I decided to go out. Uh, it's cloudy and uh, a little chilly, but uh, hopefully it's a good day. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna grab my ultralight setup. I think it's like two to six pounds. I don't think the bass gets too big, so I'm not that concerned. Oh, and did I mention I got a new setup? Exciting stuff coming up. It's a pretty windy day today. Look at the waves. So windy, of course. Always happens when I come out of the lake. Always. Damn. We're finally here at the spot, and uh, what depth are we docked at here, Mark? Uh, we're uh, just over six feet. Here. Oh, it's pretty shallow then. Got the new sonar, six and a half feet. What are we using today? Or what are you starting with? Oh, uh, I have no idea. I'm trying to figure that out. Uh, I think I'm going to start with a tube. Okay, I have like no gear, so... I might start with the... Do you have the worms? Yeah, I have some safe over here. Okay, we'll try that one out. You might have to show me how to rig it, because I don't bass fish much. These guys? Yeah. And we're gonna be setting up a drop shot. Yeah, so but I... we don't have the actual weight for it, so we're just gonna jimmy rig it. Yeah, I only brought one. And what size hook are you using? Uh, this is like size six? six, yeah. Size six. Um, VMC makes these little cheater hooks. They put a hook on a swivel, All so right. you don't have to tie. If you don't have these in a polymer knot, um, right. tied up your line, and then you the tag end of that. All right, it will these. become your line, yeah. There's a swivel on the hook. I don't think it really matters what kind of setup, right? Like, there's mm. multiple setups you yeah. can use. Yeah, bass fishing, there's like, it's endless, the uh, right. combinations you can use. Let's, I guess, switch it up if it doesn't work. And if it works, stick to it. So you want to cut off a piece of line. And then attach this hook with a swivel on, on one side. And then the other side, you want to... You have your weight? weight? Yeah. Uh, teardrops are what I like to use. They make special tungsten drop shot weights and all that type of stuff. They're just really expensive. Sounds expensive. And so... so you just use lead weight? So lead I'll just use teardrop. that. And then right. your hook to your swivel and you just tie that onto your main line. Right. And this is a... A very finesse way of catching bass. So you, you want quite a light rod for doing this. So we're using right. ultralights, Ultra which is perfect. Mine's a two to six, marked a one to four. And they don't get like huge, right, in cultus? No. no. Like Although, the biggest uh, you'd get probably is around five? Yeah, that's probably the biggest I've seen. Uh, by now there's probably some that are right. bigger, but a five pound fish is a very good fish for this lake. Right. Kind of drag it along the bottom. All right. So I got rod. I got my bait and about two and a half feet. I got my How weight. And now we are ready to catch some bass. Oh, right on the buoy. You got one? You did? Oh, nice. Oh, a little smallie. Oh, your rod's like bending so hard. Ooh. How big is it? Not that big? Oh, I'm gonna switch to that. Senko bait. Senko worm, right? Their eyes are so red. Mm-hmm. That's actually a decent size. I've seen fatter ones, right? Mm -hmm. There's fatter ones in here? Nice. That looks so fun. I gotta get one. And you wanna do that kind of motion? Yeah, just soft little 
big you're dragging it along the bottom the weight yeah uh, and your your worm stays suspended that's why you put right. the, the weight below it so by a couple feet you want to cast it around the buoys and yeah, the you structure want, right you want the structure so underneath docks rock piles which are buoys underneath boats right so don't snag somebody's boat okay what shows and uh, I have yet to get one. Winds died down too. It's nice. Winds died down. Sun's kind of coming out. It's kind of cloudy, so which is perfect. It's about 20 degrees. Perfect weather. And uh, let's get a couple more. I want to get one here. Try to put one like right at the base of the dock there. I might even hit the dock. Gotta get at least one. You got one? Oh my god. That was like top water. Almost. Another one for Mark. Oh man! I told you put one underneath the top. <laughs> I know. <laughs> they love that crankbait. How many did you catch out? Fifth. Fifth? I caught zero. Aren't they so pretty though? I love yeah. these fish. Another one. I'll take a break. Yeah, take five. I'm gonna catch one. I keep switching to whatever you're using. <laughs> and then I keep switching. <laughs> I, <know. laughs> I want to get one so bad. Oh, yes! Go on. No, you didn't. Oh! No, you didn't. Oh! No, you didn't. Oh! Came off, though. Off the ground. God? Yeah. What? Oh my gosh! And another one for Mark. Boring. Got another one, but we don't care. It's my turn. Oh, I just got a hit right away. Yes! <laughs> Let's go. Hey, I think this this was the one. Is that a pipe? No. Oh, yes. That felt nice! <laughs> that felt nice! First one of the day! Yeah! <laughs> Bill's fairly big here. Oh yeah! Yeah, it's not a small one! Oh! Oh! Come on! Dude, this is fun! <laughs> That was a decent size, right? Oh, I got one too. Double header. That's a bigger one. Double header. Fun, super fun. We're gonna move to Sunnyside. It's been pretty slow for a couple or an hour or two, so we gotta locate the fish. Hopefully, it picks up. It's been a little slow, but I, we found out the crankbait were uh, working the best. So. Got one. Oh, oh, yeah, you should go one. PB? <laughs> Damn. Look at that big fish. It's almost big as the bait. Marks onto something. Wanna crank? Yeah. Well, it's a decent one. Not too bad. Oh, another one. That's a big <gasps> Dude, that's a... <laughs> that's a big fish. There's another one trailing behind him. 
That was probably almost twice as big, right? Yeah. That is crazy. Mark is slaying today, and I am not slaying, but it's okay. We just saw a really big one, so hopefully we get to say hello to the other guy. There he goes. There's one. Oh yeah, crankbait, baby. <laughs> oh yes. I think this is my biggest today. Yeah, it's a good one. Hell yeah. It's a decent size. They're so, so strong. Yeah. Holy. Oh, yeah. I could feel it in my hand when they show. Oh, okay, you can go. Yeah. Uh, we're just kind of call it a day now. Um, yeah, it's we probably fished for six hours, six and a half, something like that, and uh, got into a couple nice ones and a lot of small ones. But Mark killed it today. Uh, I got a couple. You know, I didn't get skunked at least, but it's good to be out here. Shore fishing is definitely possible for bass. We were fishing about six to seven feet of water, which is perfect where the dock is. There's docks everywhere on cultists. They're all public docks, so make sure you check that out.